I condemn the kind of statements and the people whom he is meeting during his foreign trips. On the one hand, he meets Miss Omar, who is a known anti-India propagandist. She is known to be pro-Pakistan. She is known to criticize Kashmir for being a part of India. Ilan Omar, who is the one who met Rahul Gandhi? He has worked in the U.S. Congress for resolution in the U.S. Congress. और लगातार हिंदुओं के खिलाफ नफरत फैलाने का काम इलान उमर करती है Again and again, defamed India in his international visits. It almost seems as if he goes abroad to criticize all Indians and his motherland. I condemn the kind of statements and the people whom he is meeting during his foreign trips. On the one hand, he meets Miss Omar who is a known anti-India propagandist. She is known to be pro-Pakistan. She is known to criticize Kashmir for being a part of India. Such anti-India forces who are aligned with the Muslim Brotherhood or aligned with the ISIS have become friends of the Congress party and Sri Rahul Gandhi. He interacts with people who raise questions against India in various fora, including in the White House. In fact, he has become a fake news and propaganda machine against India and all Indians. We find Mr. Rahul Gandhi making obnoxious statements on international soil. And it seems that the whole Congress party is aligned with Mr. Rahul Gandhi's thinking. Mr. Rahul Gandhi, though not unexpected, makes statements like India does, is not safe for a certain section of people. He claims that people do not have a right to practice their own faith in India. He says that Indians are casteists. He claims that social media influencers come from a particular caste only. He meets people who advocate for a separate Kashmir. He claims Indians are hateful people. India doesn't value skilled people. These type of condemnable statements from the Congress party leader reflect the Congress mindset, Rahul Gandhi's mindset, his anti-India feelings and his effort to defame India on international soil. I completely condemn Mr. Rahul Gandhi's actions and deeds and would appeal to him to once again care for India, care for his motherland, care for the people of India rather than working against the interests of India on foreign soil. Sikh Virodhi, Arakshan Virodhi, Bayan Dene Ke Baad, Aur Bharat Ki Sanstao Par Videshi Dharti Par Sawal Uthane Ke Baad, Ab Rahul Gandhi Aur Congress Ka Haat, Bharat Virodhi Tathu Ke Saath, Aur Ye Koi Pahli Baar Nii Hai, Ki Ek Party Ke Virodh Me Utarte Utarte, Desh Virodhi Taakaton Se Hii Mil Jana. Ilan Omar Koon Hai, Jis Se Rahul Gandhi Mil Hai? Is Ne Bharat Ke Khilaaf, U.S. Congress Me Resolution Lane Ka Kaam Kiya? भारत की सॉवरेनिटी को वायलेट करते हुए पीओ के विजिट किया और वो भी पाकिस्तान स्पॉन्सर्ड ट्रिप पर इमरान खान से मिलकर भारत में इस्लामोफोबिया के ऊपर चर्चा की भारत ने जब 370 को ख़त्म किया तब उसके खिलाफ बोलकर भारत के जम्मू कश्मीर के पोजीशन के खिलाफ पाकिस्तान के जम्मू कश्मीर के पोजिशन को इंडोर्स करने का काम और लगातार हिंदुओं के खिलाफ नफरत फैलाने का काम इलान उमर करती है 
यहाँ तक कि प्रियंका चतुर्वेदी उद्धव सेना की नेत्री जो है वो भी इनके खिलाफ बोलती हैं आज सवाल ये है कि ऐसी क्या मजबूरी है राहुल गांधी आपकी ऐसी क्या सत्ता की लोलुपता लालच है कि आप देश विरोधी ऐसी ताकतों से पहले नहीं भी मिले हैं और आज भी मिलते जा रहे हैं अब प्रियंका चतुर्वेदी उद्धव सेना और इंडिया लाइन्स के नेता को बताना चाहिए कि क्या एक पार्टी के विरोध में उतरते उतरते ऐसी ताकतों से ऐसे लोगों से मिलना भी जायज है क्या एवरी टाइम राहुल गांधी जी गोज अब्रॉड और आउटसाइड द कंट्री He seems to send a very clear signal that he is happy to meet those who are against India's interests. Take the case of earlier he asked America what is America and Europe doing about uh, democracy in India. Now at this time he's met a very controversial congress person, someone who has gone to POK, someone who has sympathized with the uh, extremists in Canada, whose stance is known to be anti-India. The Sikh for Justice has come out, right, an organization that constantly is promoting terrorist thought or extremist thought against India, has come out in support of Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Mr. Rahul Gandhi has been seen standing with the Tukde Tukde gang. He seems to be taking always a stance that seems to help China. He is talking about land having been lost allegedly under Prime Minister Modi, while he prefers silence about what happened under Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of the country and his very very close family relative. The whole Aksai Chin area went. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru is famously said that not a blade of grass grows there. Gave away Indian land. So Mr. Rahul Gandhi and his team have much to introspect as the leader of opposition of the world's largest democracy. I mean, finally, what are his interests? To be seen always standing with or engaging with those who are against India's interests or going abroad and sending a message that this country is united. Whether we are in the opposition or in the government, whether we are from A party or B party, we are Indians first, and we are proud to fight for our rights as Indians, and we wish to see a strong India against those who wish to harm India's long-term interests.